Let's try an example to design the short column by using the design chart. The center columns of a heavily loaded industrial structures are to be designed. The frames are braced against the lateral forces. The looks are GK 10 kN per meter square, QK 15 kN per meter square. The concrete strength is 25 newton per mn square and the steel strength is 500 newton per mn square. This shows the key plane of the structures. The frame is 4 meter space with each other. Each frame has 3 floors. From the ground floor, first floor, second floor, and the third floor. The beam size is 300 times 700. The column size is 300 times 400. The column in these directions is 400 mm. This column is to be designed. The effective height is 3 meters for each story. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first you need to determine the UDL adding on the frame. The span between the frame is 4 meters. And you need to simulate the most critical setup of the load acting on the structure. For the most critical Asia load, the entire structure is to be applied with the maximum GK and QK, which is 1.35 and 1.5 for GK and QK respectively. To acquire the maximum moment, the loading at the first story here for the shorter span we use the minimum load which is 1.35 gk and no qk the maximum load is calculated here it is equals to 144 kN per meter the 4 meter here refers to the spacing between the frame Assuming this is the frame that we are designing, we are referring to 2 meter from one side, another 2 meter from the other side. The total width is equals to 4 meters. As for the minimum load, it will be only constitutes of the permanent actions. With that, the minimum UDL will be 54 kN per meter. The vertical loops are calculated by the story height. For the column for the third floor, this loop is calculated, which is equals to 720 kN. The second floor also have the similar loop or 720 kN. As for the first floor, the load acting on the column will be 540 by the story. This column will sustain the load on top of the column, while this column will sustain the load 720 plus 720 here. And this column is used to and this column will sustain the load here 720, here another 720, and here 540 kN. The total load to be sustained by this column is 2008 kN as the summation of all. Next, we need to determine the moment acting on the beam column. First, we need to determine the fixed end moment acting at the end of the beam. 
it is calculated by using the equations of WL squared per 12. WL squared per 12 is used to determine the fixed end moment of a continuous beam. For member AB, the fixed end moment is calculated as 432, while the member BC is calculated as 72. Next, we determine the stiffness of the member. The substitute frame here is actually referring to this joint. There is a column on top of the joint, another column below, a beam from one side, another beam from another side. The K stiffness is calculated by dividing the second moment of inertia with its effective length. The second moment of inertia is calculated based on the equation BH power 3 per 12. The member size for the beam is 300 times 700. The member size for the column is 300 times 400. The effective length for beam AB is 6 m and the effective length for beam BC is 4 m. The effective length for the column it will be 3 m each. For this sub frame, the stiffness for the beams are to be divided by 2. The stiffness for the columns are obtained by substituting the relevant value as obtained here. As for the stiffness for the beam are given here. These k are later used to calculate the distribution factors. By looking at the frame here, the joint for the third floor it will be this. The joint for the second floor, it will be this, and the joint for the first floor, it will be this. The relevant K has already written here. The sigma K is the summation of all the K of the joint. It is equals to 0 0.31 for the third floor and 2.84 for the second floor and the first floor. The distribution factor is calculated by dividing the k of the column with the summations of k. As the third floor do not have an additional column, xk carries a larger portion of the distribution factors. Next, from the fixed end moment AB and BC, we determine the differences between the moment. The differences between the moment here it will be equal to 360. The moment carried by the column is quantified by the percentage as indicated by the distribution factor. With that, the distribution factor is to be multiplied with the data M, you obtain 82.8, while 0 0.19 multiplied with 360, you get 68.4. The moment acting on the first floor and second floor will be the same. Next, write down the Asia force acting at each floor and the moment acting on each floor. You are next to refer to the design chart. In the y-axis is a function of the Asia and in the x-axis is a function of the moment. Divide the Asia force with this, divide the moment with this. The relevant values are given here. These values are calculated for every single story. Next, refer to the chart here. Find the AS, FYK, BH, FCK. Take this first floor for an example. 
the x axis is 0 0.06 and the y axis is somewhere between 0 0.67 they meet around 0 0.3 for the ASFYK BHFCK reverse calculating this by substituting the relevant value into this you will obtain the AS required these are the AS required based on the chart however you need to check for the minimum amount of reinforcement bar area substitute the relevant value as the NED differs by story the minimum amount of reinforcement bar differs check also for 0.2% SE the minimum amount of reinforcement bar is 240 taking these three into considerations the AS required for the third floor it will be 240 for the second floor 293 and for the first floor is given by the chart based on the amount of reinforcement bar required provide the AS for the column at least 4 steel bar is required for each column the provided amount of area must be greater than the area required although Eurocook permits a minimum bar size of 12 we provide 16mm diameter to increase the rigidity of the cages for the reinforcement as for the link the size have to be greater than 25% of the size of reinforcement bar provided here it is calculated as 4mm and 6.25 with that 8mm of mouse steel is provided next check for the maximum spacing the maximum spacing is determined by 20 times the size of the rebar the B300, the H400 and 400 with that the smaller value is 300 the AS maximum it will be 300 therefore we provide the spacing equals to 300 However, for the lapping regions on top of the beam and below the beam, 60% of the maximum spacing is limited. It is equivalent to 180 mm. Therefore, in conclusions, for the size of 300 times 400 column, 4T25 is provided at the first floor and 4T16 is provided for the second and third floor. As for the link, R8300 is provided in the column. However, for the lapping regions and for the regions of the H, which is 400 on top of the beam and below of the beam, R8 175 is provided